prize picks, massively growing DFS platform that I'm going to teach you how to use. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use prize picks in cash on the NBA, talking about prize picks betting strategy in this video. Prize picks is essentially like a player prop parlay. You choose between two and six player props. You choose that to go over or under. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a ton of money on the NBA using prize picks. As for me, my name is Matt Modi. I'm a content creator and betting analyst for oddsjam.com. While you're here, would appreciate it if you could like the video, comment, let me know your thoughts, and then of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also recommend hitting me up at my Twitter handle you see on the screen here. I also put a link to that in the description of the video and in the pinned comments as well. As I mentioned earlier, Prize picks is essentially like a player prop parlay. You literally choose between two and six options on prize picks, right? A player prop, you choose them to go over or under with obviously it working out. So the more plays you add, the higher the payout is, but also the higher the risk, right? Because if one of those plays loses, your entire parlay loses as well. Now, when it comes to the math behind prize picks, the recommended number of legs to put into an entry is either a five or six pick flex. Those are the two highest valuable plays, number of entries, number of legs in an entry when you are using prize picks. And as you can see on the screen here, the number of options you can use when using prize picks with the NBA is limitless. You see the screenshot here. We see the typical points, rebounds, assists, three pointers made, but then we also see like points, rebounds, assists, points, assists, turnovers, blocked shots. Pretty much if there is a counting stat in the NBA, you can use it on prize picks. You literally just go to prizepicks.com. You hover over NBA, as you can see on the screen here, then literally all of the different options you can choose from are on the screen. You choose the play, you choose the stat, you choose the player prop, you choose whether it's going over or under. But the really, really cool thing about prize picks is that the payouts are the exact same regardless of what individual plays you add. And that is a key difference on prize picks from regular old sports betting, right? For the actual sports books, a FanDuel, a DraftKings, if they deem a player prop likely or unlikely to hit, they're gonna change their odds to reflect that. Price fix doesn't do that. So you see a screenshot here, two player props, and you see at the bottom here, $10 to win 30. Pretty simple, $10 to win 30. Well, I put up another screenshot here, different plays, different stats, different, literally everything, the same exact payout. And that's the same way across the board, no matter how many legs, what player props, no matter what it may be, the payout does not change no matter what individual player props that you add to your entry. So the strategy behind actually making money on price picks, it's gonna sound really dumb and like the caveman strategy, but it literally is to choose player props that are likely to hit. It really is as simple as that. And I don't mean player props that you think are likely to hit. You know, I, I, I just got a feeling Jimmy Butler's going off tonight. You know, I just I just know my gut's telling me to take Giannis's rebounds over. No, I mean, let the data tell you which player props are likely to hit. And then you just combine those into a five or six pick flex on prize picks. Luckily, the Ajdam tools have you covered if you're wondering just exactly how to find these player props. There are a bunch of different tools you can use, one of them being the fantasy screen. I have a screenshot here of the fantasy screen. And you see, number one, you can filter specifically for prize picks specifically for the NBA. And then as you can see, plays that are highlighted green are good to go. You see on the far right here, the percent odds to hit, that is how likely this play is to go over or under. And it tells you exactly what the play, the player name, the team, the stat, the over, the under, what the line is, all that good stuff is given to you directly on the fantasy screen. But again, the most important thing are the numbers on the far right here, the percents. And that is how likely the player prop is to hit in percent form. And you're probably wondering, like, how is that stuff even calculated? Basically, the way it works is Ajdam pulls odds from the sharpest actual sports books in the world, the sports books that actually price odds individually per individual play, as opposed to a price fix. So like FanDuel, DraftKings, like I mentioned, they all price odds individually, depending on how likely they think it is to hit or not. What Ajdam does is track the sports books that consistently do the best job at pricing odds, and then uses a weighted average to calculate the perfect line. And it gives you this percent that you see here. So the percent odds to hit are taken from the sharpest sports books in the world, the sports books that consistently do the best job at pricing odds, and then just converting those odds into a percent. So when I said you want to find plays that are likely to hit, this is exactly what I was referring to. Let the data tell you what player props are likely to hit, and then just combine those 
into an entry. The Odds Jam Fantasy screen is a great way to do this, as is the positive expected value page. As you can see on the screen screenshot here, you can filter specifically for prize picks. Now we see the two different options. One, we see prize picks. One, we see prize picks five slash six pick flex. You're almost always going to want to choose the five or six pick flex option because of what I said at the beginning of the video. Those picks have the highest value. Those number of legs in an entry has the highest value. So you just combine plays from the positive EV page, from the fantasy screen. Sometimes they might overlap, sometimes they might not. And you combine those into an entry, guess what? You are going to start caching. You can filter specifically on the positive EV page, as well as the fantasy screen specifically for the NBA. So you're watching the NBA playoffs tonight. You want to get a prize picks entry in. You want to get some action on prize picks on the NBA. Well, I've just taught you how to do that and to make money. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out, like, comment, subscribe, as I mentioned. But other than that, thank you everybody for watching and have a good one. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Below are all of my different social medias where I post picks and plays daily. Make sure to hit me up there. Also, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as I'm constantly putting out new videos to learn how to make money sports betting. And that's it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.